So we're in Algonquin Park here this morning. Gonna be doing some canoeing and portaging, backcountry camping. Gonna be heading, this is a smoke lake here. Gonna be canoeing through smoke lake, ragged lake. Uh, then making camp at uh, Big Porcupine Lake. Uh, there'll be a couple portages. One of them is called the Devil's Staircase. That'll be interesting. Uh, I'll have to check that out. So yeah, let's uh, we'll get our stuff loaded up, hit the lake, and uh, start canoeing. And canoeing is not exactly my strong suit, but we'll uh, see how it goes. This is a big lake that we're starting on, and it's supposed to be a little choppy maybe, so let's see how it goes. All right, so we're gonna get in and... Uh, yeah? And uh, start moving. Start. All right, you want to get in and this is always the fun part. <laughs> you good? Yeah. All right, let's see. <laughs> always so awkward doing this the first time. All right, let's, we'll wait for these guys. They're bigger than we are. All right, so here we go. All right, so we're on Smoke Lake, heading to Ragged Lake. So I'm probably just gonna keep switching back and forth and you're just gonna have to uh keep an eye on what you're doing. Yeah, because I'll just switch as I get tired. Yeah. As long as you don't you don't switch like two like, like this, I'll just do this the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're still on Smoke Lake, but it's super nice and calm in this little area here. Been going well <laughs> it was super calm until I turned the GoPro on and somebody starts hammering in the distance. Um, wait, how long have we been going for? Half an hour, maybe? I think we're going straight up, uh, straight up ahead here should be the portage over to Ragged Lake. This is probably the longest lake, or the biggest lake I've canoed through. Longest distance, anyways. It's not too bad right now with no motorboats around here and nice and calm. So we're just cool, trying right? to find the portage here. I think it might be over here. Yeah. It's a cool little waterfall over that way. It's kind of cool. What's that? I'm just talking to the camera. Over there is kind of cool. But yeah, there should be a, a sign somewhere, right? Yeah, I think it's over there. Did I see the map? There, so we started up there. Yeah, that's it definitely over there. I think it's that one right there. Yeah, I think too, you might be right. The little sand dune over there. We need to mark these things a lot. Then. Yeah, so we're heading, this is Smoke Lake here, and I think it's right up there. Yeah, it's definitely right there. Kind of see, doesn't that look like a yellow sign on the tree maybe? So when you guys are, if you're guys, anybody watch this video trying to find this portage, we're pretty sure it's to the, it's to the right of the waterfall when you come in, this little sandy area here. Yeah, I can see the sign on the tree right there. Want to go and come in right over here. Yeah. Be like, what the hell? What have I got myself into? Like ahead, see what it looks like. All right, who's got plugs? I do. I got some. Yeah, I got some. I got some. All right, so this is the portage. Free. <laughs> yeah, there's the sign right there, buried in this. Yeah, if you look at the map, you can see the waterfall, and it's to the right of the waterfall. Yeah. 
So there's a Smoke Lake to Ragged Lake portage sign. It's a 240, mil, 40, 240 meter portage. So this is the first portage. A little bit uphill and rocky. I'm gonna take our gear up first and then do the canoe. It's 240 meters. It's not too far. So this used to be an old dam, I guess, over here. It's not used anymore, but you can still see sort of the foundation of the old dam across here. And this is Ragged Lake. Here we'll be portaging into, go back and grab the canoe and get it in. So we're going up right here. here. Yeah, so I'm gonna head out that way and then to keep to the left. Yeah. Okay, just gonna get going here on Ragged Lake. Busy portage. What's that? It's a busy portage. All right, so we're gonna make our way through Ragged lake shouldn't be that long of a of a paddle keep to the left i think up here and then we'll be faced with the devil staircase portage dun 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 so we're back on track here at ragged lake we kind of misread the map a little bit but yeah i think we're coming up on the portage shortly Kind of cool with all the deadfall, or looks like the water levels must be way higher here than they used to be. We just gotta maneuver through some shallow waters here over to the portage here. This is really shallow. Looks like it's a bit of fun to get around, eh? We totally misread that one island as the island. Oh yeah? We told you. Come this way. We didn't hear you. <laughs> so this is the portage here. This is the, uh, what's on the map. It's called the Devil's Staircase. You can see, so it's got some stairs, looking stair thingies here. Portage sign. It says it's only, what do we got here? 590 meters to Big Porcupine Lake. We'll see what this is like. It's supposed to be pretty uphill, I guess. I figure if it's anything, it's called Devil Staircase. It can't be good, right? It's got the word devil in it or staircase. It's got to be uphill and probably crappy, crappy. So let's get, uh, see how bad it is. Does, this, 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 there better be more stairs than this. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Here's some more uh, steps. I read online it's like these steps are they're too long and too tall for any normal man. Here's I think the real staircase part. This is some. Uh, this looks fun. I'm sure the video does this no justice, but. Uh, it's a pretty gnarly climb here. So yeah. Yeah, we're just doing this in a two uh, step process. We'll do the packs first and then come back for our canoes. We're too old to be doing it all in one shot. Just uh, taking up the canoe now. Whew.
Yeah, so this is our site that we've gotten here at uh, Big Porcupine Lake. It's a pretty nice site. Uh, it's got some nice uh, rock sort of beach front. You can do some uh, swimming and bathing down in here. It's a nice shallow over here. So yeah, it's kind of a cool things about this site. I'll just show you guys here. Uh, we got two camp, two camp sites here. Pretty nice. Got this site right here out in the open. Here. So this is the one camp for the one uh, fire area, which is nice right out on the water here. Nice big rock there. And if I go back in here, this is where we're all camped or have our camp tent setups. There's another fire pit area in here. That's Hunter. Yeah, so we got another fire pit area right here, which is nice in case it rains and whatever. We're about to tarp up here in my tent. Set up right here. Semi flat, not perfect, but uh, it will do. I don't want to canoe anymore. We've canoed so much. Hunter's map reading skills are a little, a little suspect. So we got lost a little bit and uh, ended up way almost in a river or something. I don't know, but uh, none of us want to canoe anymore. So this site is going to do, but it's not bad. I really like this. Uh, this is a cool campfire setup or whoever, because this is natural. You think this tree just grew over top of this like that. That's wild. Got a little bit of a fire going. Got some bug repellent gear on because it's it's freaking nuts out here. Black flies. Like look at this. To wear this just because they're just insane. And I'm sure the mosquitoes are gonna come out soon. So yeah. Fun. Yeah. Have a little... <laughs> this is what we do, yeah. So this is what we're using for camping or cooking out on camp. Get this little Okay. Fuck no. Oh, was it wasn't yet, was it? No. No, as soon as that fire started up, they all seemed to take off. <laughs> yeah, so this little thing. <laughs> Show it there. Not a waste of good coil. Oh, fuck, I hope not. Oh, there you go. Am I just like that? Just pouring up that water. So this is the pathway we need to take to get to the, what they call a thunder box, which is where you go to the washroom in the deep woods here. It's always my funnest part of the trip. And I don't really mean that. And I hate do having to do this, but you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So yeah, there is the thunderbox. All right. So can't beat waking up to this in the morning. A little coffee on the shore of our campsite. Can't beat it. Let's take a look down here. It's beautiful. Frying up some freshly caught lake trout. Brook trout. What kind of trout? Uh, brook trout. Brook trout, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> that looks good. So here's our plan for today. We are, if you look at the map here, this is Porcupine Lake. We are right about here. We're gonna canoe down along here to this little portage here into little Coon Lake. I'm gonna check out this. This is uh, on the map, the Devil's Staircase, uh, even though we did the Devil's Staircase up there, wherever it is. I think right there. 
is what on another map is called the Devil Staircase. We're gonna check out this one. This one on some other maps is called the Double Devil Staircase. We're gonna check that out and then maybe take this hiking trail across here to Dividing Lake and uh, just check it out. Might be a little bit of an ambitious plan, but we're gonna check it out. So this is the portage into Little Coon Lake from Big Porcupine and it's a bit of a sludgy, muddy mess. You're recording it in smell -a vision Yeah, because it doesn't smell good right now. So we did that portage, pretty easy, a little buggy, but that's about the only issue. <laughs> Super buggy, par for the course up around here. Yeah. So this is Little Coon Lake now. So we're approaching the portage called the Devil Staircase or Double Devil Staircase. So it should be interesting. The approach looks kind of gross here, but uh, we will see what it's like. The weather's kind of looking a little, a little iffy too. Sleeping in a minute. So this is the double devil staircase, I guess they call it, or the devil staircase, depending on what map you look at. Should be interesting. We're just gonna hike it. We're not gonna actually portage it because we have no reason to do that. So why would we do that? So this is the start of it here. I know, bro. <laughs> Wow, this would suck with a canoe. Oh, fuck. Here are your staircases in the wood. Yeah. So this is 990 meters on the map. That's kind of cool or weird. It's like too, too, uh, wolf you think? So I wonder what this, because there was one of these this like this. This is where you rest the canoes. Oh, okay. Take a break. Oh, that's why there was one over there. Yeah, Probably at that, the that start of that thing shitty. Socks, you can catch your breath. Yeah. Then come, and this is a good break point here. Shut up, Byron, guys. This is So I think we're about the halfway point. I think we're about the halfway point of the double devil staircase. And so far, I don't know. I was expecting more. Maybe there'll be something crazy, but. If other, other jumps out and kicks you in the balls. Yeah. That's a wolf. Other than the entrance, wasn't too bad. And now they're talking about wolves. That's a little freaky, but. Oh, there's more there too. Oh, there's more bear poop right there. Bear poop? Hey, That's... keep your head up in the trees too. Don't eat that shit. Who, uh, <laughs> how fresh is that, you guys think? That's not fresh. That's been a couple days. There's more here too, like, holy fuck. It's like, definitely slowed my pace down a little bit now. Yeah. yeah, so we're just coming out to the lake. I think it's called Whatnot Lake. So yeah, overall that uh, portage wasn't that crazy, or that hiking trail, the double double devil's staircase wasn't bad at all yeah it would have sucked with a canoe i'll give them that but overall i actually think the other devil's staircase was more challenging yeah so just looking at the map i don't think we're gonna be able to do so what we, we plan to do because that trail starts over there somewhere and i don't think i don't know how we're gonna get to that well we're not gonna get to that so so we're just going to do a change of plans here because when we looked at the map here we were going to do this portage here and cut across to there but if you look closely on the map they're not connected so we're back up here we're just going to make our way back up over here to do this Anybody portage need? over here to Bonacher Lake and check out some sites on there. So this is another portage into, this is from Big Porcupine into Bonacher Lake. We're going to go check out Bonacher Lake. We're not staying there, but we'll take the canoes over. Just do some exploring over there. So I think it's a 200 meter portage, so we'll get to it. A really steep section here we're gonna traverse down but I 
don't know, checking out a site up here on Bonaventure. It's kind of cool. Or Bonacher Lake. I don't think this is the cool site that I thought it was. But I don't know where it is then. This is kind of cool, but... No, I don't think this is supposed to be a site. People have called the Gaga site. I don't really know what it means or stands for, but it's supposed to be on this lake. I don't know where. Thought it might be this site, but I don't think it is. So this might be the whatever Gaga site. I don't know. Looks like it has some chair or thing built or something up there, but I think maybe we're getting tired and just want to get back. Yeah, we just want to go back. What do you say, Hunter? So what are we gonna do? Somebody make a call. You know what? So it won't, it won't All right. Ten minutes won't make a difference. All right. Into the one arm there. Oh, nice. <laughs> kind of a cool little chair. Just sit down on the chair. It's actually pretty comfortable. I can't believe somebody like brought like railway spikes out here to railway ties and shit to build this. It's a nice view just sitting here. Yeah, this is a nice site. Got a little, got a little bar here. No, I don't think it would. I, I think it's pretty comfy with it's the fire right dull. there. And I thought it would. Older there, couple older here. I mean, if you really like the the person, yeah, yeah. Sit side by each, right? <laughs> it's got a little bit of rain here tonight. Hopefully it clears soon. Raining just a little bit. One tarp we have. <laughs> Yeehaw. So hopefully this doesn't last too much longer. Alright, so just loading up, getting ready to do the canoe and back. We're gonna take a little portage over here. So it'll be the we'll, we will have done all the portages on this lake. So let's get it going. So this is the big porcupine to big porcupine portage. Just basically cuts off a lot of paddling. What a 400 meter portage. Are we uh, doing this in two goes or? Yeah. All right, so we'll hike our gear, hike our gear over and then uh, come back for the canoe. So this is the portage in between, or to cut off Big Porcupine. It was not too bad, a little up and down, but certainly not the worst portage we've done. A little buggy, but this whole weekend's been really buggy, so it's about the same. So we'll just go get our canoes, fire them through here, and head off to Ragged Lake. We just got done bringing the canoes, getting them ready to set up. I think we're heading straight down that way for the portage over to Ragged. This is the double staircase, right? This is the double staircase. The one we're, yeah. A legend. But let's, we're going downhill though. So. It's not bad. So we'll head over that way and do the Devil's Staircase down. So we're coming into the Smoke Lake access. That was a long, long paddle. Let's uh, 
keep going here and get in there and I think right in there, right? That was a long paddle. Sure was, eh? Yeah. So we finished our three-day trip out to Smoke Lake, uh, Ragged Lake to Big Porcupine and back. Did some adventure along the way. And uh, yeah, get some ideas of what we're gonna do next year. So we'll see you guys in 2020 for this trip next year.